I was just watching the Republican National Convention and it got me thinking about quite a lot of things. Like, that we all really do share a value of love. I think it courses through the veins of the modern American. And like, there's a sense of territorialism that comes from naturality. You know, you have walls and locks on your door. I'm guilty of it right now. But that's my territory. I have my safe space. And I understand that desire, you know, to, to want to be able to lock up your shit. And borders, like, people crossing national borders weirds me out. Because I've always been very liberal about that and thought, like, what's the harm of letting unlimited people across the border? Who gives a shit? But then there's these laws on the books. And I hear about, like, Sweden, I think it is. Is like the rape capital of the world right now because they blame it on this influx of immigrants, uh, Muslim immigrants since the 80s. And the way Muslim men treat women is different than the way Christian men treat women culturally. So, um, I just saw a mosquito, I think, and I'm going to slay him. So that it's that's like a bigoted thing to say that that there's a difference in the way just inherently Muslims and Christians treat people. Like why can't a Muslim and a Christian both be really good to someone? They can. And not all Muslims have this it's not a hatred of women, it's just an old idea. It's a 1200-year-old non-reformed idea for the most part, well, 800-year-old or whatever it was. Christianity went through a reformation where they were like, okay, women aren't property. Uh, Islam should do that. It would be a great show of faith, of truth and justice and, and kindness and goodness to the world to be like, these are the real true tenets of Islam. And everyone, man and woman, can embrace. And when you break it down beyond the, 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 the fighting and, calm and turmoil that Muhammad had to go through as a kid that Jesus didn't have to face they're talking about the exact same shit one God one people comes down to English one language which could very well be English at this point and we're all culturally divided but so are our bodies physically there's a natural division to reality that's enticing and it makes us stronger presents resistance for you to grow against and i highly recommend watching the convention from night and listening with an open mind just really take it in man because love is the answer